A survivor of child sexual abuse is working to pass a law requiring abuse prevention classes in all public schools. Studies reveal that one in four girls and one in six boys are sexually abused before the age of 18. Aaron's law, named after Aaron uh, Murrin, has passed in 36 states and it is pending now in 14 additional states. Actress Julie Anna Margulis has pushed lawmakers for years to pass the law in her home state of New York. Rena Ninen visited a school in Illinois to see how the classes teach kids about safe and unsafe touches. I think you shouldn't be afraid to talk about this to kids, what sexual abuse is, and how to stop it and look out for it. It's hard to believe that this young group of 4th, 5th, and 6th graders can speak about child sexual abuse with such candor. A lot of the times it goes unreported because people are scared. It could happen to my brother, it could happen to me, it could happen to my friends. It can be even like people you know and that you trust can do it, that's like scary. How many of you have heard about child sexual abuse? Just before sitting down with us, these students were taught a 50 minute child safety class. Do not touch me. Where they learned about how to prevent, recognize and respond to bullying, emotional and sexual abuse. What is it that you think will stay with you after you leave the classroom? If someone tries to touch you in a place that you don't feel comfortable in, come tell me. You should tell an adult and don't be afraid to speak up. No blame, no shame. The program is in Waukegan, Illinois. It's part of a statewide mandate requiring students be taught personal body safety. It's known as Aaron's Law and is currently in 36 states. Kindergarten to 12th grade, we must spend an hour out of a school year teaching. Getting the law passed in those 14 pending states, including New York, is Aaron Marin's mission. I will come back until this law is passed. And she's had a longtime support from actress Juliana Margulies. Erin Murren, Glamour Woman of the Year. I was once that six-year-old that woke up at the overnight at my best friend's house to her uncle sexually abusing me, telling me to keep it a secret. And so I didn't tell. I was frightened. I was terrified. She woke me up to a real epidemic. I was never sexually abused as a child. And I just, um, she kind of bowled me over. Only 20% of adult females and 5 to 10% of adult males recall a childhood sexual assault or sexual abuse incident and report it. I think there's so much shame attached to it. And it's this old, ridiculous adage of, well, what were you wearing? Maybe you asked to be raped. Mm -hmm. That kind of attitude toward the fact that we might be physically a weaker sex, and children are physically, boys and girls, weaker than adults. That doesn't mean anyone has the privilege to abuse that. What do you say to parents who say, I want it to be my decision how much and when and where I teach my kids about sexual abuse? And I try to explain to parents, this is personal body safety. This is teaching kids the difference between safe and unsafe touch, safe and unsafe secrets. Who are five safe adults you can go to if something is happening to you? you it's know, a self-defense class. Yeah, mm, a self-defense class. That's how they should look at it. And what keeps me going is continuing to see these stories of another child disclosing that they have been abused immediately after being taught Aaron's Law. That was the case with Lisa Jesse's daughter. It's not something that you ever expect your child to come home and say, well, this is what happened. She believes Aaron's Law helped her daughter come forward when she was 10 years old. My daughter came home and just immediately told me I was inappropriately touched. This was your child's biological father? Correct. Where is he now? He's in prison uh, for the next 11 years. For people who say that this program is too controversial and shouldn't be taught in schools, what do you say? It's such a good thing for the kids to be comfortable because it gives them control. That's exactly what we witnessed with these kids. How many of you feel other schools in this country should have a course like this? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Feet too. Yeah, your feet too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bill has died in New York's legislature every year before a vote could even take place. Supporters hope it will be voted on this year before the end of the session. That would be in mid-June. That's a powerful piece by our Rena Ninen. Yes. And a powerful advocacy by uh, Juliana Margulies. Yes. Didn't get it right the first time. Yes. I apologize for that. Well, yeah. we, we knew what you meant. We yeah. knew what you meant. And I, I love what Juliana said, though, that she yeah. said, think of it as self-defense for your children. Yeah. It's empowering for kids. It really is. Yes. All parents want their kids to be safe. So to give them the language and the voice and how to do it and where to do it, I think is very, very strong. Thank yeah. you to Aaron and Juliana both. Very important.